Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Bros Talking Sports. We are back, baby. That is right. I just want to say, first of all, I apologize for the long delay. All right. We took a week or so off because, uh, as my guys say, uh, life be lifing. All right. On uh, Two Bros Sports Talk. Shout y'all out. Uh, life be lifing. And uh, I just want to say I apologize on Bros Talking Sports. This is season two, and we want to make sure that we deliver. Okay. And from here on out, I got to make sure I give all give my all to you, the fans. All right. So uh, that's on me. That's my apologies. But from here on out, I got to make sure I give you all the sports. There's sports stuff happening every day. So much stuff that we're going to talk about today that uh, it's just insane. But I got to make sure I deliver more consistently and I will do that for you guys. OK, so that's my apologies. Bros talking sports. John of the Don. Please forgive me. All right. So, with that being said, week two of the NFL is complete. We're going to run down just a couple games. Not even run down, okay, because you guys already know the stats, but week three is here starting tomorrow night. Well, by the time you guys see this, it will be probably today, all right? So, um, starting today, tonight, Thursday night football, week three is here, okay? So, real quick, my... Buffalo Bills went up 2-0. There's not that many teams that's 2-0 right now in the league, but my Buffalo Bills are one of them. Last week, they beat the Dolphins. They beat the brakes off of them 31-10. It wasn't, I mean, it was easy, but as we all know, Tua went down. Tyreek Hill was a no-show because of it, and it hurt my fantasy team. I'm not going to lie. He only got me, like, I believe, five points, and that was absolutely mind-blowing. Josh Allen was 13 of 19. He only threw the ball for 139 yards. That, I don't know about that. That is not okay. I'm going to need a more complete game from my guy, Josh Allen. And But we got the win. So, I mean, that's cool. We're 2-0. and All right. We lead the division. But I need, to, I need to see more. And by more, I mean coming up on Monday night, we play the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, that's going to be a test because the Jacksonville Jaguars are 0-2. And the last two times that they've played us, they've beat us. So, uh, yeah. All right. We cannot take the Jacksonville Jaguars lightly. Trevor Lawrence is going to come to play. And even though he's a little banged up, but they are fighting. Okay. So the Bills, yes, we are favored, but we need to get the win Monday night. We'll talk a little bit more about that leading up until Monday. But my Bills, they got the win. They're 2-0, and and uh, I can't be more excited. Y'all see the jersey? All right, shout-out Josh Allen. All right, and Bros Talking Sports are on the road October 27th in Seattle. Buffalo Bills, this is going to be an epic, epic show. Make sure you guys tune in, okay? October 27th in Seattle on the road, Buffalo Bills. It's going to be epic. All right, hey, shout-out Malik Willis. Okay, Green Bay Packers gets his first start and his first win. He also gets his first touchdown in the NFL, 163 yards. Shout you out, brother. Salute you, okay? They counted you out. They didn't think you was going to do anything when Jordan Love went out, and you came out, and you showed up and showed out. You got the win over the Colts. I know bro is mad about that, but – Anthony Richard was a no show. Let's talk. We, we we could talk about that, but we're not. All right. Shout you out, Malik Willis. Got your first win. Hey, also, shout out them damn New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints came and got it done over y'all. Damn Cowboys. What the hell happened there? Okay. Can I just say shout out Dak? I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to leave it there for y'all because, yeah, that's it. Shout out Dak. Shout out CD, and I'm going to leave it there as well. What the hell happened here, okay, you guys? New Orleans put the smacking on y'all. Kamara, uh, fuck, freaking, uh, uh, sp- space me right now. I don't know what, I'm tripping. Derek Carr, tripping. Shout out Derek Carr. Went from o- Oakland, all right, he'd been bouncing around. Couldn't get the right start. Oakland, he was a little promising for a minute there until he got hurt. But now he's showing up. He's showing out in New, New Orleans. And I have to tell you, I think New Orleans is a little pissed off that Little Wayne did not get the halftime show. And they are showing up and showing out to the world. Not only that, 
the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. So they're trying to get there to play for the Super Bowl in their home field, I believe. Okay, be the third team to ever get there or win or whatnot. But I think they're so mad at the fact that Lil Wayne is not there that they are blowing people out. 40 plus bangers. And the Cowboys had no answer for them. Okay, Dak Prescott played not good. All right, interception. Um, CD Lamb just was not happening. Parsons, what's up, man? All right, I know you're trying to get paid, but anyway, yeah, man, shut y'all out. The damn Saints. Who that? Saints are two and O. Oh. That is epic. I like it. Okay. Um, shout out the Atlanta defense. I just want to shut y'all out real quick. Okay. Hey. Um, who would have thought that the Ravens would be 0-2 and, and my Cincinnati Bengals would be 0-2? Nobody. All right, let's just say that out there. Nobody. Hey, real quick, um, shout out Aaron Rodgers. Oh, shout out A-Rod getting his first win, okay, in a long time. Just want to shout that out. Shout out the Vikings on beating the NFC champs, the 49ers. Let's not forget about that. Week two, this was epic. The Vikings was pretty much in control of the entire game. Yes, Jay Jetty got hurt. He's definitely questionable, but, and he did not come back. But the Vikings pulled it out on the NFC champs late, and that was epic. Shout y'all out. Shout out the Arizona Cardinals for whooping the Rams' ass. You already know. Uh, uh, Seattle Seahawks appreciate that straight up, okay? Speaking of... The Seattle Seahawks, my Seattle Seahawks, we went all the way to New England to whoop the Patriots ass. That is right. The Seattle Seahawks went and dominated in overtime. The only game I believe it was on overtime on Sunday, 23 to 20. Geno Smith was out there slinging that thing. Pause. 327 yards, one touchdown compared to Jacoby Brissett's 149 yards. And one touchdown, uh uh-uh, ain't going to happen. When you got the weapons over there in Seattle, you got Geno, the veteranist. Yeah, Jacoby, but he's injury prone, okay? You got um, a new coach over there in Gerard Mayo. He, that is big. You don't have Belichick anymore. The way that the, the, way that the Patriots came out and whooped my Bengals ass in week one, I was a little nervous. All right, they was hot. But the way Seattle went into New England and cooled them down, it it put everything back into perspective. All right. So, Seattle, I just want to salute you, as I said. And uh, you're 2-0. and oh, You lead the division. And I can't ask for anything more. I'm excited. I just want to say, okay, real quick. Um, uh, Patriots, okay. Uh, no, not Patriots. Uh, Seattle, week three, we play the Dolphins. My apologies. Uh, as we know, two is not in. We got Tyreek. We got Mostert. We got uh, Waddle. You got some pieces over there in Miami. But I believe, and we're favored, so I am I believe we're going to win. They're, my uh, Miami's coming all the way to 12 to try to get this win, and it ain't going to happen. So Seattle, after this week, could be 3-0. and that is epic right now, you guys. I'm uh I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. Now, I believe in uh Mike McDaniels for the Dolphins. I believe in him. Okay. But I believe in Mike McDonald a little bit more. I I could not have said that a few weeks ago. I couldn't. Now, we are two and oh, so I am, you know, riding that coattail. But we'll see how he handles adversity. Okay. And uh, right now, he has the locker room. He has the entire locker room. They're with him, giving game balls away, doing all this and that. And I'm excited. So we will see how Mike McDa- Mike McDonald can make this happen. But uh, I'm excited. So, yeah. All right. Hey, shout out Baker Mayfield real quick, okay? And the Bucks on whooping my fucking, whooping my lion's ass, okay? Let's just call a spade what it is. Jared Goff looked like trash. I don't know if something was wrong with the shoulder or what, but he kept throwing the ball into the ground. He kept throwing the ball into the ground. 
I don't know what was going on. David Montgomery couldn't get going. Amara St. Brown got going. He had 119 yards. No touchdowns, though. That's one thing we couldn't get going. Um, Gibbs had, what, 80, what, what Gibbs have? 84 yards. No touchdowns. Again, we cannot convert. Jared Goff over there in the mean hand had 307 yards, but he had two interceptions. And again, no touchdowns. That was our problem. We lost to the Lions in epic fashion, man. I don't even, I can't even believe I don't have the score right now. But y'all know we lost, and that's that. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, okay? But shout out the defensive, the new defensive player of the year, Aiden Hutchinson. Because the way he started this game, three sacks in the first quarter, he finished with, I thought it was five, but they gave him, they took away four and a half sacks of career high in this game. He's absolutely going to be the defensive player of the year. And the Lions need to get it together. Not really the Lions. I know Amara St. Brown's pretty much uh, a little bit banged up. But Jared Goff needs to get it together. You can't be having these up and down years. Your number one pick. You've been traded from team to team. You had us on a high horse last year, and now you cannot have us Lion fans making our blood pressure go up. You just can't do it. So, Jared Goff, I need you to get it together. You guys had 463 total yards. Tampa Bay only had 216. We completely dominated the game with those two interceptions. And Baker, Baker is cold, man, okay? Mike Mike uh, Evans didn't even really get going like that. Like he was, like he did in week one, but Chris God Godwin did though. Godwin went off, but uh, yeah, man. All right, shout y'all out. Anyway, I got to give credit where credit is due. All right. Uh, next week or th- this week, Sunday, the Lions are at the Cardinals. So obviously that should be a win. But the way that Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals whooped ass last week, it's going to be scary. All right, because they're almost kind of like a a Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, Baker, he's just slinging it. He don't really care. There's like nothing to lose. He's just going, going, going. Kyler's the same way. So it's a little scary, and they're on the road. So um, Dan Campbell has to have the team ready to go. That's all I got to say about that. All right, so next up, real quick. Like I said, who would have thought my Bengals would have been 0-2? We faced the Chiefs. And they're 2-0 because they beat us. All right. The Chiefs beat us 26 to 25. Can you say the refs are cheating? Did the Chiefs pay the refs? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just playing. But listen, fourth down, 38 seconds to go. You're going to call that tippy tap. The couple plays before that, you didn't call it. I mean, it's tough. But anyway, I'm not complaining about that. Okay. Because Joe Burrow should have had the team in a more a better situation to win, all right? should have been 35 to 26, all right? There ain't no way. Chiefs, I mean, uh, Cincinnati was talking that talk before the game saying we're built to beat the Chiefs, and they really are, but they're not beating them. So what the hell is going on, okay? Bro had 258 yards, two touchdowns. Mahomes had 151 yards. Come on now. He did also have two interceptions, two touchdowns, but... One interception wasn't his fault. One absolutely was for sure, for sure his fault. Um, But we had no rushing game. Jamar Chase was a no-show, 35 yards, 35 yards. Now, I just, is he doing this on purpose? Two games in, he was 35 yards. That's what he had. Is he doing this on purpose because he's not getting a contract? Or are the Cincinnati Bengals, correct in not paying him and giving him a new contract i need answers you guys please he said he's always open but he ain't getting it is it burrow burrow at 250 a 23 of 36 i i should have looked up how many targets was to chase but um chase just doesn't look like he's putting his all into it i'm not sure i'm really not sure okay um week three we have the commanders Bengals, obviously, we're going to beat the Commanders at home. We better. 
be better. The Commanders played a hell of a game in week two, though. I just got to say, okay. But other than that, you guys, we're going to get into it. Thursday night football. All right. The Patriots are at the Jets. This is epic. This is epic, okay? Because as I said, the way the Patriots came out in week one and dominated, Seattle cooled them off. But the Jets also, week one, they couldn't get it done. Week two, they found the groove. Aaron Rodgers came out. He got it done. Threw for 176 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. That was epic, okay? They have the momentum going in. Rodgers got his first touchdowns in a very long time, so that was epic. Uh, Rodgers, Brees Hall, Allen, Garrett Wilson, Lazard, they are rolling, not to mention their defense is absolutely spectacular. Let's see, I actually have them on my fantasy team, so keep it up. Keep it going, okay? Um, yeah, can Jamrod, can Gerard Mayo outdo the Jets in this epic, epic rivalry? We will see tonight on Thursday Night Football. I picked the Jets to win. Absolutely. I didn't even think the Patriots was going to win week one. They shouldn't have over my Bengals. But Jets absolutely wins. I got the game going 23 to 20. And I actually wrote that. It, I think it might be a little higher Jets, but 23-20 is a fair, fair win. Jets are favored by six. So by that, they don't cover the spread. So we'll see. All right, Thursday night football. We will talk about it tomorrow. But I know you Patriots fans out there, uh, with this rivalry game, it could go either way for sure, but I'm picking the Jets. It's going to be epic. You're at home.